we're willing, we'd like to put you on camera just for ask a few questions uh, about Japanese uh, culture in Taitung. You know, My name is Stephen Martin, and I came to Taiwan from Hawaii to study Taiwan's indigenous cultures. As my research progressed, I met Nabu Istanda, a descendant of Taiwan's Laiponuk Bunun. Nabu encouraged me to come to Taidong and meet his family, many of which were in their 70s and 80s. It was then that I began to realize the history of the Bunun. History, the elders told me about a time when they lived in the high mountains, in small family groups, hunted wild animals, and farmed millet. Their lives had changed dramatically when the Japanese came and relocated them to the lowlands near Taidong on Taiwan's east coast. Nabu's family had come from the geographic area known to them as Laipunuk. This film is about the events which led to the destruction of Bunun culture during the Japanese period. Nabu's mother, Langus, and her two brothers, Bion and Nabu, were born in the Laipunuk village called Takibalas. As children, their lives were simple and followed the will of their parents. Within a short period of time, the Japanese had built a network of trails and police stations leading to their village. Some police stations had an elementary school, store, and a doctor's office. Although the Japanese gave the villagers an option to stay in the mountains, they required all the children to attend school and learn Japanese. Langus and her younger brother Nabu attended one of these schools, but Bion, who was the eldest brother, stayed with his father to learn hunting skills and Bunon traditions. In Bunon culture, the oldest son should stay with the tribe and become a hunter. Eventually, the Japanese decided to remove everyone from the mountains. In 1941, when Langus was just 14 and Bion 19, their entire family was relocated near Taidong. In the Pacific, World War II was escalating and the Japanese began enlisting aboriginals for military service. As bravery was culturally respected by the Bunon, Yon stepped forth to represent his family without any hesitation. In 1942, his battalion, called the Targasako Volunteers, was shipped to Papua New Guinea to protect a Japanese commander. During his combat duty, he had killed two Americans. In 1945, the Japanese lost the war and Bion was sent home to Taiwan by the Americans. His father couldn't believe he was still alive, and Bion was so happy he sang a traditional Bunun song for his father. People said Bion was the only Tagasako volunteer from Laipunuk to have come back from New Guinea alive.
had seen major changes in society, the government, and the world. Now 86 years old, the own recounts having lived through the Benon traditional period, the Japanese colonial empire, and the nationalist KMT regime. But it was the strength and courage he gained as a young man in life which taught him to face life with bravery and to change with the changes of the world. Today, he hopes to see the younger generations can learn from his experiences and not forget about the history of the Laipunuk Punuk. <laughs>